But how can see the God supremely good who heaps his favors on the sons he loves, yet scatters evil with his larger hand? A God came down to lift our stricken race. He visited the earth and changed it not. The children have asked for you. Will you take them some bread with butter and cheese? Yes, my dear. And what are you thinking about today, Mr. Miller? Voltaire. Voltaire believes there is a supreme power. But he does not accept that God has anything to do with us personally. I survived that battle at Plattsburgh, Lucy, and I have to know why. And Voltaire's words provide no answers, then? God reached down to the battlefield to meddle in the lives of men? It goes against reason, William. It's not logical. If you had seen the shells in the blood that day, you'd know the only explanation for our victory was some sort of divine intervention. And what of the men and boys who died around you? Was it the hand of God that put them in the grave? I don't have the answer for that, Abner. All I know is I should be dead and I am not. Perhaps the Bible has an answer. Come now, Mr. Miller. The Bible is an ancient fairy tale. You have no proof of its validity. You don't have proof to the contrary. Both views require a leap of faith. Surely one demands as much attention as the other. So now an ancient text is your authority on all things? It just may have the answers I seek. Well, I'll tell you what I seek. Another pint. William. William, my love. Come to bed. The Bible holds the answer to the timing of our Savior's return. God's word has lasted these many centuries. It will still be there in the morning. Can you believe what the Lord has shown us? Indeed. I shall never again doubt the faithfulness of Scripture. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving For kindness, I am the Lord, your God, your Savior. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. And unto them that look for him shall I he appear the second for you. And if I go, I will come again. your response was? This is what I get for speaking in front of Mother. I told her that I would next read the sermon when Elihu was away. She must have told one of the elders. Indeed, all parental instructions, unless enforced by becoming examples, will expose not only the truths taught, but the parents themselves. Many remained hardened, thoughtless of God who created them and of Jesus who 
bled to redeem them. Be not deceived, beloved parents, if you would train up your children in the way they should go. You must not merely instruct, but your actions must course. Course. Your actions must correspond to God's calling on your heart. What is it? The baby bird is dead. Oh, my sweet child. There, there. It's going to be all right. No, it's not. Come, let us lay this gentle creature to rest. Papa. I don't want to die. Oh, my precious one. Oh, you will yet live for many, many years. But each of us must one day pass from this earth. Aren't you afraid of that? No, not anymore. For I have found 